Thoughts on the Kingdom. In this discourse, I want to speak on one of the prophecies of that kingdom. Thoughts on the Kingdom, prophesied number one. And the passage I have to put before you is Genesis chapter 49 and verse 10. Now remember, these are just thoughts, indicators, pointers, tasters, uh, showing the richness, the, the extent of the matter of the kingdom throughout the scripture. Remember I've said how important is this subject and how neglected it is, and I've confessed my own neglect of it. I'm trying to put it right. Now, Genesis 49, verse 10. You remember in the previous discourse, I spoke of Gabriel uh, addressing Mary, and I said that Mary would have comprehended uh, what Gabriel was talking about because she would be aware of the prophecies, of the ambience, of, of the teaching, of the DNA, as it were. It would be in her of the Old Covenant. Now, here is the prophecy that I'm referring to. Jacob is about to die, and he is blessing uh, his sons. This is not just some... Uh, small thing. He is laying upon these men uh, great principles, great aspects of their ministry. He is prophesying. And here he comes to Judah. And in the midst of this prophecy, this blessing of Judah, he says this, verse 10 of Genesis 49, the scepter will not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until he comes to whom it belongs. And the obedience of the nations is his. Genesis 49, verse 10. Now, this is only a part of this prophecy, this blessing of Judah by Jacob. And the commentators have a great deal to say about it. And much more needs to be said about it than I'm going to say. And although the word king or kingdom is not he, he, uh, used here, look at the words, the scepter, the ruler's staff, leading to the obedience of the nations. We are speaking about governance, about rule, about reign, about authority, about power, about majesty. The scepter will not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until he comes, until he comes to whom it belongs, or the footnote, the Shiloh comes, until he comes to whom it belongs, and the obedience of the nations is his. So with this king, this ruler, will come out of Judah, and he will govern the nations, not just simply Israel, which does not yet exist. Israel has not been formed into a nation yet. This is just a tribe, uh, a member of the scattered little family here, little, little nomadic family. Uh, they're in Egypt now and so on. But they will soon be formed into a nation within, say, 400 years or so. They will be formed into a nation. Then the old covenant will be given. Then the prophecies will come thick and fast. But now here is this leading, this opening salvo. And what a salvo is. Who is this Shiloh? Who is this one to whom it belongs? But our Lord Jesus Christ sprang out of Judah. And he is the king. He is the one who will rule. He is the governor. He is the one of authority. All power is given unto me, he said. But this is Jacob, centuries before, hundreds of years, thousands of years before, speaking of this. And it enters into the DNA of Jacob's children. And he goes on and on and on until Gabriel can speak to Mary and say, that baby that's coming from you, that little boy, is none other than this great ruler, this great king. And of his governance and of his rule there shall be no end, and the nations shall be his. Well, that's all I'm pointing to. You can see the importance of it. You can see how it figured so largely in Jacob's peoples, the tribes of Jacob, 
how it featured in their thinking and their reasoning and their expectation. Well, of course, we live now way into the days of the New Covenant, and we look back and we see way back in those years, long ago, in those misty times, we see this glorious, shining prophecy. Here is the day star, as it were. Here it is. The scepter will not depart from Judah, nor the ruler's staff from between his feet, until he comes. I think there's prophecy of David here on the way, and so on. But supremely, our Lord Jesus Christ, who is, as the Bible says, when we come to the other end of the Bible, Revelation, the King of kings and Lord of lords.